The Book Thief is a novel that deals with complex human emotions and provides deep commentaries on the human condition. This emotional roller coaster ride is rich with optimism, sadness, regret, triumph, and hope. Hello and welcome to my video looking at Marcus Zusak's novel, The Book Thief. I covered this book on an old channel of mine for a uni assessment a few years ago, but I thought it was due for an update. Published in 2005, Marcus Zusak's novel, The Book Thief, was an international bestseller, selling 163 million copies worldwide, with the novel being an overwhelming success for the young author. The Book Thief has a 4.39 rating on Goodreads, which is incredibly high. Since its publication, the book has struck a chord with audiences worldwide, and is taught in classrooms around the world. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the book and I hope you enjoyed reading it too. Plot summary. Set in Nazi Germany in the 1940s, The Book Thief is a historical fiction novel centering on the plight of 10-year-old Liesl Memminger. The story is narrated by the personification of death. Surrounded by tragedy, the death of her brother and her mother's inability to care for her, Liesl is taken in by a foster family in a small town outside of Munich. Her foster parents, Rosa and Hans Huberman are kind and loving, but it takes Liesl a while to adjust to her new surroundings. When Hans Huberman discovers that Liesl cannot read, he begins teaching her the alphabet, and together they make their way through a book that Liesl stole. Liesl also befriends a kind-hearted neighborhood boy, Rudy, and the two share their experience of growing up in a Hitler-dominated Germany. The political situation in Germany is becoming more serious, with escalating food and work shortages and we see this through the eyes of Liesl's family. Liesl begins delivering laundry for Rosa, and she develops a relationship with one of her clients, Ilsa Herman. Ilsa Herman is the mayor's wife, and she invites Liesl inside her study one day after Liesl marvels at the library of books. Liesl steals a number of books from the Herman's library over the course of the story, earning her the title of The Book Thief. Each stolen book becomes a pivotal moment in Liesl's development. As the story unfolds, Hans Schuberman hides a young Jewish boy named Max in the basement of the family home. Liesl develops a close friendship with Max and they bond over their shared tragedy. Max encourages Liesl's love of words and helps to continue her learning. Eventually, Max is forced to leave the family household and later ends up in an internment camp. Weeks later, Liesl watches on as the Jewish prisoners are marched through town by the Nazi soldiers and sadly, she sees Max among them. Hans Huberman is also beaten for giving bread to the starving Jewish prisoners as they're being paraded through town. Towards the end of the story, Liesl is alone in the basement one night, working on her book. An air raid bombing takes place and the remainder of the main characters, Rosa, Hans and Rudy, are killed. In the rubble, Liesl leaves behind her finished book. Liesl is the sole survivor from the bombing and she eventually grows up and moves to Australia in the aftermath of World War II. At the end of the novel, Liesl has a family and lives to old age. When death finally comes to take her soul, he shows her the book she wrote all those years ago in Germany. Themes. The Book Thief represents a range of themes, including the duality of Nazi Germany, the kindness and cruelty of humans, and most prominently of all, the power of words. Relevance. Education about World War II is an integral part of schooling, particularly grade 10 and beyond, and this novel provides an in-depth narrative backdrop for the topic. It provides students with context about the realities of World War II for German citizens and for the Jewish community in the 1940s. Analyzing the text through the lens of race, gender and social class can also be beneficial when establishing the relevance of the text within today's society. Even in developed nations today, Children in low socioeconomic regions are disproportionately underperforming in literacy standards, which ultimately results in disempowered young people, much like Liesl at the beginning of the story. Further relevance of the text is demonstrated by the many young women in the Middle East currently protesting their right to an education, even in 2023. Author context. Marcus Zusak was born in Sydney, Australia in 1973. His mother was German and his father was Austrian and both of them emigrated to Australia in the 1950s. Zusak said in an interview, I owe my parents everything. They gave me the world of this book like a language I didn't know I had. Sure, there's a ratio of probably 90% fiction in the finished work, but it's the world and the backdrop of the story that they brought to life. Classroom use. Zusak's novel employs a number of cleverly executed textual strategies while providing education opportunities surrounding World War II and the lesser represented German population during this time. 
These characteristics all contribute to the novel's worth as a suitable text for use in the classroom. Truths surrounding ideas that winners often lose, the strong don't always survive, and that humans are capable of both the amazing and the terrible are comprehensible even for the younger demographic of young adult readers. The innocent sensibility of the novel provides a story that is thought-provoking, painful, beautiful, and heartbreaking. Liesl's character embodies a hard-won hope, and this is something that is universal to human existence. Personally, this book will always remind me about the power of words. The Book Thief speaks to me about the capacity for education to empower an individual and change their life for the better. I had always loved reading as a child, but in my late teens and early 20s, I had let that passion for reading fall by the wayside. Reading The Book Thief while I was at university was a light bulb moment in my life and it reawakened my passion for reading. Some incredible lecturers I had also played a huge part in that. I hope this video has been helpful and educational in some way for you, and if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. If there are any other books or plot summaries you'd like me to cover on this channel, please let me know.